back now with a very personal interview with a dear friend of ours, Spencer Christian. You remember him, former anchor here at GMA. Spent decades in front of the camera, but that famous, famous smile hit a secret pain that he's now revealing. He had a gambling problem, and he reveals it in his new book, You Bet Your Life, and recently came back home to talk about it. Welcome home. It's good to be here. <laughs> Feels like home. 13 years. 13 <sighs> years with Good Morning America. That's right. What was the highlight for you being here? I think the highlight was just the relationship with everyone else on the team. I, honestly, I, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah. most of my time here was with Charlie Gibson and Joan London. And we just had a bond. This was my second family. But yeah. also, just the number of people yeah. that you have met. Yeah. I mean, former presidents, uh, yeah. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, I formed a friendship, good friendship with Muhammad Ali and, and a relationship with, uh, with Jimmy Carter. Met and or interviewed six presidents. Uh, it, it always amazed me how so many of these amazingly famous people who came through GMA were excited to meet us. They, they saw us as celebrities as well. So we saw you all those years, but we didn't know. Uh, we did not know what was going on yeah. in your life, being yeah. addicted to gambling. Yeah. When I began to acknowledge to myself that it was a problem, I was embarrassed. I felt guilty. I didn't want my friends and public and my colleagues to know because I didn't want I didn't want to be viewed as someone who was stupid and foolish. I mean, mm. how can a smart guy make such dumb decisions in his life? When uh, you wrote about the FBI uh. calling and even though they ended up saying that you were on the up and up. Right, right. It was a real wake-up call for you. What happened was during those gambling days, you know, before every gambling trip I'd go to three or four banks where I had accounts and take cash out and then I'd go off, and when I'd come back, I'd have all this cash to redeposit. And it, that fit the pattern of someone covering up, you know, drug money or whatever. And so that's why I was being investigated. And finally, he tells me, but we found no criminal activity. You didn't break any laws. He said, you've, got a, you've obviously got a gambling problem. And you, you know, for your own good, you need to seek some help. Oh, yeah. That was a scary moment. And it was a huge wake-up call. How were you able to, to hide what it is that you were dealing with. Robert, it's, I still don't know how I was able to hide it as well as I did. I knew that I was living a lie. I was being deceptive. Um, people had this one image of me, which was a real part of who I was, but I was hiding this other part of me, which was just as real and was self-destructive mm. and damaging. There were several times that you thought that that was it. Yeah, that was the last right. time. Yeah, yeah. What is it about this time that's different? My daughter was getting married. And uh, she sat down and had a little talk with me. And she said, Dad, you know, you know that I admire you and I love you and I think the world of you, but you've got this problem. And I'm going to bring grandchildren into your life. Do you want your grandchildren to know their grandfather as a gambler? Is this the, the legacy you want to leave? Is this the way you want to be defined? And uh, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And bottom line, what's your message for people who pick up your book? I think it is that it's never too late to change the direction of your life, and you're never alone. We all have problems. Even those of us who seem to be living the perfect life have problems. And how's life now? Life's great. Life couldn't be better. I'm just on top of the world. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Thank you, Smith. Thanks so much. Everybody's got something. You have no idea what somebody is going through, and he is back in the Bay Area. He's at our ABC station in San Francisco, KGO-TV. I hear they have a great new general manager and president. <laughs> Tom Tomsky. But we also, in all sincerity, we want to say if compulsive gambling affects your life, the Gamblers Anonymous website has resources to help you. It looks it, like he's in a good place now. It, he is in a good place. He said having a, it was a wake-up call. He did a, just a little bit of counseling, and he's not saying that his journey is the way for people to break this addiction. It, it worked for him. It was a wake-up call for him. That's why we say go to the website. There are a ton of resources because it really, truly is an addiction, but we're mm -hmm. glad that he's doing well. And you never know who's struggling. You never yeah. know. You never know.